Hey guys, what's going on? So, okay, yes, I'm still in the hotel room because I'm still on my job. And thank God I had the chance to watch Riverdale tonight. So, no, I don't have Shane or Amanda with me and I'm heartbroken about that because what an amazing episode. I mean, this episode was on fire. And of course, they're not with me to give a review video. Well, you know, I've been, I've been tweeting and I was texting. So let's just get started. I wrote down notes because that's how that's how good this was. So the Blossom family and the mansion. We finally meet the Blossom family and of course, you know, all their money and their power and their mansion. And let me tell you something. It was plain dark. I mean, yeah, that's why I have black on. Plain dark. I mean, I had chills during this episode. They are cunning. They don't give a shit about anybody but themselves. They don't even like their own kids. And does the mother know? about the affair, the possible affair between her son and daughter. I mean, you know, that that's a big question from tonight's episode from and you know what I take of it as. Uh Kevin, let's just say finally Kevin wore a color that represented his character, other than those yucky green shirts that he was wearing previous episodes. Uh, you know, we see the football team, we see her the cheer the cheerleading uh squad. I still love Veronica. She's not like my favorite female character. I mean, just just the way she looks, her her hair, the way she dresses, she's phenomenal. She's so Blair from Gossip Girl. Archie living his dream. So right now, Archie's choosing, and Archie's obviously going to choose the music and pursue his uh, her his passion in in his dream for music. But he's seen how cutthroat it really is, and now he has to pick and choose football or music and he's picking music so that was good you know a good moral to the story there uh the group scene love the group scene that was so 90210 gossip girl you know melrose place style uh jason on drugs now we're starting to see connections this you know money power hungry prince of a kid who gets whatever he wants he has he was born with a silver spoon but he's involved in the drugs and is he involved in the serpents and let's not talk about that scene with the damn snake i mean that had me jumping out of my chair uh all the secrets that you know surfaced um this episode kind of reminded me of pretty little liars with the de Laurentiis family and the blossoms you know they're kind of two of the same trust no one definitely trust no one because you can't trust anyone in this town um the mystery with Veronica's father, I think that's going to come to light. Uh, the music during the funeral, uh, Cheryl's speech, she couldn't even make it through. And then the, the creepy either grandmother or aunt that's in the wheelchair, I mean, what does she know about Jason and Polly? And now we learn they were engaged? What the hell's going on? And Polly, there were so many references to Polly. So Polly definitely has a major role. I've said it from the get-go, I even tweeted it. Polly has a major role in this. I don't think she killed Jason. But now, it's like every parent could be responsible for it. I mean, look how excited I am. I'm dropping my pen. Greed and hate, business versus family. You know, we're seeing the morals of the story in this episode of families that are about money and power but not about family and love. And kids need that. And maybe that's why these kids on the show are so messed up in a way, you know, the Blossoms, because they had no love and support from their from their parents or their families. It, you know, it's a, it's a blood feud and now we're learning that. So now we're learning where the vendettas are finally kicking in. I mean, I don't know, this episode was on fire. Greg Berlanti, to the writers, you guys are amazing on this episode. It's too damn bad I don't have Amanda and Shane with me to talk about this. Uh, but definitely, we're going to talk when I see them over the weekend. But yeah, I mean, this episode was absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. And it definitely threw out more Easter eggs, but it kind of wrapped up some mysteries. We learned where the evidence is, you know. I'll tell you what, though, maybe the serpents aren't the ones responsible for sending that rattlesnake after the mother. You know, you just don't know. You can't trust anybody. It's like everybody has a split personality in this town. But then you see darker sides to everybody, too, especially the Blossom family. I mean, this episode was hardcore soap opera tonight. So share your thoughts. You can comment, uh, share the video, like the video, subscribe, continue to watch 
my videos. It's all for you guys. I can't wait. I'm going to do a video for the season finale of How to Get Away with Murder and Blacklist and talk about uh, Blacklist Redemption and Nashville. So there are more to come because this is, this is great. I love it and I love doing it and I'm able to do it now with my new position so far. So it's all for you guys. Thanks again. Riverdale fans continue. It's all for you and have a great night and yeah, don't trust anybody, especially on Riverdale.